Thank you so much, Sasha. Tonight, I'm really excited to celebrate all the ways in which the work of Seattle Neighborhood Greenways is really paying off. Uh, this was my first budget cycle as a new council member. Um, and even though it was so much more than I imagined, I'm really thrilled that thanks to your advocacy, we got many mobility priorities into this year's budget. Um, especially down here in District 2, we have the Georgetown to South Park Trail, the Rainier sidewalk improvements, uh, some bike route planning amendments that my office was leading on. Um, and I'm really proud of that and really proud of the partnership with Seattle Neighborhood Greenways. During this pandemic, I've never had a greater appreciation for our collective ability to walk and bike around our city and around our neighborhoods. I've got kids at home, uh, and each day my family, just like yours, really sees the connections um, between the work that you do and all the things that we value in our neighborhoods, a better climate, equity, better mobility, um, and especially now, um, better options for promoting good health. So tonight, uh, you've heard about four discrete areas that are really important to our city and especially to me and to my constituents. We've heard about the Rainier Avenue improvements, about the Stay Healthy Streets and Cafe Streets, and about whose streets are streets, which is a really important reimagining of traffic enforcement without police. If it wasn't for Seattle Neighborhood Greenway's activism this year, we simply would not be able to get around our city in all the ways that we really need to do, especially uh, during a global health crisis. So now we all hope that next year will look really different. <laughs> um, and I have to say in recent weeks, I'm feeling slightly more optimistic. Um, if you're feeling hopeful for 2021, I wanna ask you to put a down payment on the year ahead. And I'm asking you to give till it hurts uh, for the Seattle Neighborhood Greenways programs and projects that are helping you and helping all of us get around our neighborhoods better uh, and to build a better future. So I hope that we're all using this time together tonight, not just to celebrate, but to raise money. It's a challenging time with a lot of economic uncertainty, but I'm asking you to think about what you were planning to give tonight and now think about doubling it if you can. Just make a contribution that's meaningful to you so that we can continue to see the kind of change that we want for better mobility and for better health in our community. Thank you.